All right, I was asked to do a video about how to use um, Harry Wilhelm's basic compiler. Uh, essentially, you, um, you write a program in basic or extended basic, and then you compile it to a source code. Um, that source code can then be assembled um, via the editor assembler module built right into Classic 99. It then outputs um, a, uh, either an XB um, program or it can also output an uh, EA5 or editor assembler option 5 um, file. So let's do something really, really simple here. Let's do, let's call clear. Let's, um, let's define a, a pattern here. Let's just define a character pattern. We'll just make one up. Uh, 96 and let's just do a bunch of weirdness okay that's good enough I have no idea what that looks like okay then what we're gonna do is um, we'll display it some so All right, this is real simple. All we're going to do here is um, we're going to display a string of the same character across the top of the screen. Then we're going to print compilers are cool. So hmm, interesting. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much what it does. Um, so that's our program. Now what we're going to want to do is load the compiler into place. Now let's go ahead and save this. Now to do this you have to save it in merge format. So we'll save it as disk1.tester. Okay, then we'll save it as save disk1.tester s. Sorry. Tester S merge. Okay. All right. So now what we have to do is load the compiler up. Now to do this, what we got to do is open up Classic 99 folder. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. The uh, comp disk. That's my new disk one. So let's take disk one, change it to disk two, and then we'll change comp disk to disk one. Now we have our compiler in disk one. And that's really the first steps that we need to take is write an XB program, save it into merge format, and then prepare yourself um, to compile by placing your compiler diskette into disk one. And we will go ahead and do that in the next segment. All right, um, to get to this, you run disk1.compiler, and then you press 1. Okay, XB test, or XB file to be compiled. So it's going to be disk2 now, dot test, errs. Okay, assembly output file name. So we'll do disk2 dot Tester A. Um, no, S for source. Tester, well, how about tester slash S? That works. 
load runtime routines from. Okay, they're in disk one also. Um, since I'm using Classic 99, everything fits onto one disk. So my runtime routines are all in disk one. Proceed, yes. Compiling. Now we're going to go up and go into throttling, CPU overdrive. Okay, it's compiled. So back to normal. All right, so now we have a source file on our disk two called tester slash s. So let's go ahead and cartridge applications editor assembler. Yes. Load editor assembler. Let's assemble source file disk two dot tester slash s. Object file disk two dot test. Let's do uh, testo for object because it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce a computer uh, language object file. We're not going to do a list file. Options R for register. This is very important. We learned this on the Atari age list. If you don't hit R, it comes back with a bunch of crap. So it'll assemble. Shouldn't take very long. It's a very small program. Although the source code that Wilhelm's compiler outputs is um, well, it's uh, it's quite different than most source code you would imagine. So now let's see. Should I speed this up in overdrive? Maybe. Okay. Press enter to continue. So zero errors. That's a good thing. All right. Let's go back into extended basic cartridge apps. Extended basic. Yes. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is run disk1.c loader. Disk2.test. Oh. Okay, now what this is going to do is essentially it's going to take the object file and create either an EA5 program or an XB program. So let's hit that. It's loading the file. Okay, here we go. Let's go back into regular mode. Okay, to save an XB format, enter save disk in dot prog name. Let's do that. Let's do uh, save disk one. Now let's do disk two dot test XB. Okay, and we'll get out of this. It's done. So run disk two dot test XB. Okay, that's it. Um, you can't really tell how fast um, it is and, and how much the speed difference is because this is such a very simple program. But um, there have been some pretty drastic difference um, differences shown in several programs that have been written. I did post a video on one that was much quicker. Uh, the white noise demo actually is what it was. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the entire instruction set for using the compiler. I hope you guys get to use it uh, in the future, and uh, hopefully we get some really good programs out of it. It's already starting. There's uh, several that have been done in, in, uh, on Atari Age already. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys found some use out of this and enjoyed it. Thanks.